we are human. And it may be times where we don't take the advice that we give to others because we don't think about it at the time when we are so filled with emotion. So sometimes we may have to take a step back and we have to breathe. Assalamualaikum. Peace is your coach, Coach Nyla, one of the co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as co-author of the book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. And in this video, although you didn't ask, I'm going to tell you anyway, <laughs> we are going to discuss how to win an argument, surefire way to win an argument. I know you guys want to know that information, um, but first, make sure you hit the subscribe button because many of the people who watch our videos are not subscribed and make sure you like this video and share it because sharing is caring. So how do you win an argument? Okay, first and foremost, we don't want to argue. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to argue. Um, I don't know if you guys seen this TikTok, I swear it popped into my head, um, where the lady says, um, oh, you want to argue? I'm going to argue with you. You know, <laughs> I'm happy. Leave me alone. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> this is just what it reminds me of. Like, we really don't want to argue. But if we are in a situation where we are disagreeing with someone, or we having a conflict, or we having um, some challenges, and... Um, we're not hearing each other because usually that's what arguing is, is where we're really just trying to get our point across. We're really just trying to to get the other person to hear us. How you get how you win that is not have it at all. How you but I'm going to tell you how you really, really come out on top. And what I mean, come out on top is where you are at peace, where you're happy, where you are not um causing conflict with each other conflict within yourself where you're not um what do they call it they call it um the transfer of emotions like if you're angry and then you know you argue and then the emotion transfer to the other person or if they're angry their emotion transfer onto you but you want to have these good vibes good emotions and i know i just sound so flower power child or whatever type of thing when I say these things but when it all comes down to it we want outstanding relationships and if we want to have these outstanding relationships we want to make sure that we understand each other that's it that's how you win to have a goal and that goal should be to understand one another to come out with a better understanding to Get, to have the person be able to understand you and you to understand the other person's side. Not that, oh, well, I was right, you were wrong, I'm the winner, you're the loser, you know, these type of things like that. What type of relationship is that when you're constantly trying to one-up each other or you're, you're, you're trying to beat each other or compete with one another? That's not how a marriage should go. That's not how a relationship should go. So first and foremost, have a goal a main goal and the goal should be something positive and i would give you a tip or some type of thing to strive for and that goal should be a better understanding understanding why the person feels this way or thinks this certain type of way and also being able to get your point of cross of why you feel the way you feel and just trying to get them to understand you but not getting them to they don't have to like what you say they don't have to agree with what you say, but for the point that, you know what, this is how I feel and this is why I felt this way. Do you understand? Now, it may not be the same with you. You may not understand, you may not agree with that, but this is how I felt. Pardon interruption. We want to share with you something that's very important, a project that we've been working on and empowering people with called the Polygamy Masterclass. I conduct a four-part men's polygamy masterclass where we go through the four stages of polygamy. So when we're talking about the idea stage, the what to expect stage, the transitioning, as well as the new normal, which includes a whole bunch of stuff in between here. All right, of course, include leadership and financial things as well. Now, I want men to check that out by going to polygamy masterclass 
www.thepreparedmentor.com. In addition to having access to the live courses as well as the pre-recorded ones, you also get downloads, you get access to me directly. So let's get busy if you really are serious about practicing polygamy in a healthy manner. Yes, and in our Women's Polygamy Masterclass, we train on preparedness and polygamy. In addition to connecting with your co-wife and everything in between. So make sure you go to polygamymasterclass.com for higher level education. Now back to your video. Now see, this is interesting too because once I really got that part right, it helped me to get more information from the other person. Um, case in point, um, there are certain things that um, I discussed with um, our husband, with my husband, Coach Nadir, um, and it was specifically about feelings that I had, um, feelings that feelings of insecurities, feelings of feeling like an outsider, just different types of feelings, right? And I had the courageous conversation with him about that because I also believe when it comes time to speak to people, speak to people that can help you. Speak to people who can give you that insight and that are also willing to listen to your side as well. So I gave him that information. Um, and there's some things that he said that I didn't agree with at the time. Um, but then as I thought about it a little bit more, I started to see where he was coming from, you know? So there were certain things that I knew that I needed to work on within myself, but I did want him to understand where I was coming from. And the best way for me to have that happen was to not um, degrade him, not, not listen to his point of view or what he was trying to tell me, or that I'm going to him for something, but then you don't want to listen to what the person is trying to tell you. So that's another thing you have to watch out for. Like if you're going to ask the person for advice or you're going to ask them to help you with something, it will only make sense to try to hear out what the, what the advice that they're trying to give you, or at least the ideas that they're trying to give you so you can figure something out on your own. And he is actually a person that he'll try to give you some, um, he'll give you some tools and he kind of likes you to kind of figure things out on your own. But there are times when I'm very specific, like, hey, I need your assistance on this. And I do that with uh, other people too, but just using this, him as an example, um, because I do go to him a lot about different things like that. Certain things that I may have went through in the past, certain things that may have um, cause triggers for me and things like that. But then I have to understand that I want to hear his side too. And there may not be times where I'm not even going to him for a certain thing and may come to him with a hard conversation um, or a difficult conversation. I usually call it uncomfortable conversation because, you know, some things ain't always, it's not necessarily hard because I always think of like hard versus easy and something that's hard is like something that you can't do and something that's easy is something that you can do but that's just me so um i like to usually use the term uncomfortable because sometimes it's an uncomfortable conversation um because just the feelings that can come up within it you know um sometimes you can have a person like one day he i told him something that how i felt and he asked me the question like are you sure this is what it is, or could you be misinterpreting? Or could you be reading into it? Now, the old me <laughs> would have came like, would have got defensive and was like, what do you mean? Like, see, you're taking people's sides or something like that. But then I had to think about it and I said, you know, I don't know. I could be, you know, but being able to see that, being able to be mature enough to say, you know what, maybe I'm looking at it in a different way. So when you have a goal, and your goal is to have a un better understanding and it can be even a better understanding within yourself. So if you're going to talk to someone about anything, whether it's their point of view or whether it's your point of view, come out with that goal or have the, go into it with that goal of having a better understanding and also being able to listen, you know, and listen to understand and to speak to be heard. And the way you do that is to not demean, not degrade, not to raise your voice. And, and as I stated in a number of videos, and I'm stating it again in this one, that I'm saying this as, an, as a reminder to myself, as well as a lesson to others, because we are human. And it may be times where we 
don't take the advice that we give to others because we don't think about it at the time when we are so filled with emotion. So sometimes we may have to take a step back and we have to breathe. So make sure you breathe. So how to win an argument one, not have one, but if you find yourself in that type of place, being able to breathe, go in there with a goal of being able to understand each other and you know you want to understand too because you can control you you can't control the other person but if the other person is saying some things that are hurtful or that's spiteful or anything like that and you can feel that way or you are feeling that way find a way to kindly let them know that this is what is is i'm feeling this way by the words that you're saying maybe we should um stop this conversation and reconvene some at a different time and also a good thing a good rule of thumb is when you are going into difficult conversations or uncomfortable conversations asking the or asking is this a good time to talk are you receptive you know and you also be in a, a be in a receptive state as well so um <laughs> hope you guys got some good information from this if you made it this far congratulations in the comments make sure you put no arguing this is a no arguing okay just something simple as that no arguing because when it all comes down to it that's how we want our relationships to be we want it to be argument free yes there'll be sometimes we may agree to disagree there may be sometimes where we're gonna disagree on some things because we have different feelings we have different emotions we have different likes and dislikes however the it doesn't have to get into an argument. It doesn't have to get into a shouting match. It doesn't have to get into a, I'm gonna one up you and I'm the winner and you're the loser because when we come out with a better understanding, we all win. So make sure you guys are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly and connecting on a higher level every single day. If you want more videos like this, as well as um, getting um, more information on winning at polygyny and things like that make sure you go to our polygynymasterclass.com and make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video because sharing is caring and until next time i will see you soon assalamu alaikum peace here are three ways i'll say the first relationships can help you Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships. And make sure you sign up for our email list and you can actually email us at support at Outstanding Personal Relationships where you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored, as well as exclusive access to our lives and bonuses. Absolutely. If you're looking for more polygyny education, make sure you visit polygamymasterclass.com. Now, if you're looking for coaching or counseling with either Coach Fatima or Coach Nyla, you can find them at... Make sure you visit me at coachfatima.com. And myself at coachnyla.com. That's how we can help you. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Peace.